Yo, what's up guys? Your Burn Night Storm here. Welcome back to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So previously we talked about the new event, just the overall thing with the new skins and stuff, but you're now taking a look at Cartier. That's gonna be a deep dive. Hopefully this video will be useful. But in any case, let's take a quick look at um let's take a quick look at her weapon, Neptune Nova. So frost damage, frost DPS. Unlimited ammo capacity, very interesting. So I'm assuming it's just one arrow, right? I mean one bolt. And then you just shoot every one and a half seconds consistently. Increase frost damage by 18%. When stationary, each shot hit recovers 0.1 S energy. Only one recovery per shot. An operative gains one stack of galactic gale every seconds, which increase attack by 4.8. Dodging also stacks one stack of galactic max five. When moving, consumes one stack every second. Hmm. When moving, consumes one stack every second. So I'm assuming they want you to dodge rather than move. Very interesting. Um honestly, it's not it's okay, right? It's okay. Um I think the most important part here is the S energy recovery, but I'm assuming you kind of want to, you know, max dupe this. Oh, uh, let me just double check first. Oh, sorry. Oh, let me go to weapon collection. So let's check the uh, 0 0.15 S energy. Yeah, you kind of want to get two um, just to max, up, max it out. Um, I'm not sure how important the S energy recovery is, but um, it's a 50% increase. So yeah, I mean, overall it's decent, but maybe depending on how her kit is like, maybe the impact of this weapon does something much greater. Um, let's take a look at the four star weapon that we have as an option for Katya from the event. Um, gains three stacks of chill after using a standard skill and three stacks after performing a tactical dodge, gains two stacks for each shot that hits a target, and every stack of chill increases ballistic damage of the operative by 0.6% up to 50 stacks, but stacks also decrease by one every 0.2 seconds. Hmm. Um... I'm not sure how you would I'm not sure how you would even get so many stacks. Because it's still 332 even at max dupe. It's just that you get 50% ballistic damage at max stacks instead of um Oh wait. Yeah, 50% instead of um 30%. Um yeah, gaining stacks on this one is very difficult, um, especially with the, the, the decreasing stats. So technically speaking, compared to the uh, the five star, it's really not as not that good. Um, so the weapon, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, uh, in my opinion, a no choice kind of deal. Like it's a given choice that you go for the five star. But let's take a look at her kit now. So death traverser, cooldown three seconds. So three seconds cooldown. And tactical dodge immediately resets death traversal cooldown. So you can dodge skill, dodge skill, right? Dodge skill. Interesting. I guess that could help with the uh, the full star. Katya can use standard skill to switch to guidance three form. In this form, Katya cannot move and tactical dodges will make her exit the form. When in guidance three form, Katya cannot restore S energy and each shot additionally consumes 0.5 S energy. When S energy runs out, Katya exits the form. Ah. So this is where the weapon passive from the five star comes in. So if you want to stay in that form for longer, when stationary, as you can see, you get 0.15, which helps alleviate the uh, the consuming 0.5 for each shot. Instead of 0 0.1, 0.5, you consume 0.35 at max dupes. Because when S energy runs out, Katya exits the form. Um, yeah, see, look, you, and you cannot restore S energy either, so you get to shoot more shots. 
Um, Kochi is not affected by changes to rate of fire, and she gains increased anti-interruption ability. However, during this period, her shots have decreased final damage, destructible object damage, and new energy gain. Huh? Not affected by changes to rate of fire against... So, okay, no interrupt. She deals less damage. Huh. Okay, in Guidance 3 form, Kochi's rate of fire varies based on the crossbow mode. Um, in normal mode, rate of fire is fixed at 8 rounds per second. In special mode, it's fixed at 4 rounds per second. Okay, I'm assuming special mode is... Oh, maybe, maybe it has something to do with the special mode, we'll see. Let's see, final damage of shots in Guidance 3 form decreased to 40% of the original value. Damage dealt to destruct destructible object equals 50% of value. Your energy gain is... Now, what I'm what I'm not sure about is why why you would do this, right? For some reason, it feels like a debuff because you can't move either. We'll see, we'll see. Now, neural skills tactical dodge resets the cooldown, and when equipped with a first weapon and not in guidance three form, shot hits restore two S energy. Fine. All right, let's check out the support skill. Um, least of first damage. Uh, f uh, let's see. Yeah, inflicts frozen for three seconds. Uh, can be used in uncontrollable state. Dispelling the state. Okay, can dispel uncontrollable. Uh, explosion range of Bruma Ball. Okay, it's it's okay. Um, I guess you would use this to like tr to try and escape in certain in certain situations, but okay. Eloquent arrows. Uh, Cartier shoots towards the sky, raining down a guileful barrage of tracking bolts on the, on the target, inflicting one instance of force damage every. 10 seconds okay in an air is it in an area or on the target oh it's on the target okay at least that way you don't need to aim i believe um damage instance decreases to 0 0.2 seconds and aoe increases by 50 percent oh no it's an aoe okay but at least you double the damage from neural skills which is nice um each hit by guileful barrage decreases the target's movement speed by 10 percent Upon hitting ten times, additionally inflict frozen for uh, inflict frozen effect for three seconds. Okay. Um, I think I need to actually play this character for me to actually know how this works. Um, because there's because she does have a crossbow mode, as you can see. Hmm. Let's check out the. Okay, overall. Her gameplay seems iffy. I'm not really too sure. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Uh, because her support and ult is pretty straightforward damage. Most of her kit comes from Death Traverser, but all I can see from it is that it makes you. It makes you stationary, uh, with anti-interruption ability. However, you don't have. You do not have a uh, damage reduction. Um, and you and you deal less damage, right? So there has to be something special about this. However. Your rate of fire, do, your rate of fire does double, right? It does double, so that that is something to consider. So I'm, I think this is like more so if you're safe, you switch to this form, you shoot twice as fast, and yeah. Okay, let's take a look at Oracle of Vigor. In Guidance Three, for this, oh sorry, this is for manifestations now. Um, Oracle of Vigor for the for the M1. In Guidance Three form, Cartier shots again Soul Reader effect. Each stack increases the rate of fire by one percent. When in guidance three form, the five stack count counts increase by one shooting. When receiving damage, the current stack count decreases by half, but this effect will be triggered once every other turn. Exiting guidance three does not reset the stack count. Ooh. Okay. That is. I see. So she, okay, now I'm I'm starting to understand her kit now. Okay, let's 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 keep reading these first, and then I'll tell you. Uh, while in Guidance 3 form, Kart's damage dealt is increased, and each hit on destructible items restores 0.2s energy. Only one of them. Okay. Stamina, stamina cost of dodge goes down. Soul Reader stacks won't decrease for 3 seconds after a dodge. And then. 40, so you're. Oh. 50% um, of the original damage at max level. So once you get M4 at level 80. 50% of the original damage, pretty nice. 
And then when there are no enemies within 10, 10 meters, alignment index increases by 165. Okay. Okay. Now, before I go into further detail, let's quickly take a look at her. Um, I am in the wrong place. No, no, I'm not. Let's take a quick look at... Oops. Let's take a quick look at her um, neuronics. There you go. Legacy of the Cunning 4. Each of your shots have 30 35% chance to gain aptitude effect. Uh, shots additionally deal 30% of attack as frost damage, be increasing by an additional 7% for each 100 alignment index. 35% chance to gain aptitude effects where shots additionally deal... Okay, this is like for free damage. Okay, so overall, I actually kind of understand her kit now. So basically, she's made to be very... Um, I guess, well, flexible isn't the word, but um, very movement heavy. Um, I forgot the word, but basically she's made to be very mobile. There you go. She's a very mobile character with a form that essentially turns her into a machine gun turret where you shoot much faster. And uh, and because you deal twice the amount of, uh, like I said, your fire rate doubles, your damage actually increases in that turret form and her manifestation works around improving that turret form especially with the increased rate of fire going even further and using dodges so that so very cool i think her gameplay might actually be pretty fun just keep in mind that her big damage comes from being stationary right and you cannot move um for manifestation i would just say i would recommend m3 I mean, I would recommend, yeah, so um, if you want to go minimal, I would recommend M2. And if you want optimal, I recommend M4. Okay, now that's out of the way. Uh, first impression so far seems pretty interesting. Now let's take a look at actual, let's take a look at actual gameplay. All right, let's play. Can't wait. Okay, so overall, okay, I can see what the gameplay is. She's, she's, like uh, she's like a turret. Right, a very mobile with a stationary turret form. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, hopefully. So, depending on her gameplay, I might either pull or skip. Because, you know, she is a DPS and I have Wild Hunt and Yao Race. Wait, how do I dodge anyway? Oh, space, I forgot. That's a tactical... Wait, her... That dodge is pretty nice. But yeah, so basically, E. You see what I mean? And then you keep you keep using S energy. And then you switch out. Wait! No, 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 no. Hold on a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. This... Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. See, on paper it sounded fun, but now that I'm actually playing it. Hey, no, 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 no. I mean, who doesn't want to be a, a walking turret? I mean, did that. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Obviously, there's, there's, a, there's a limit to the range, right? Oh, I, I, I guess there is. I mean, I guess the, the range is pretty nice, but let's, let's go test that out, right? We'll start. Okay, wait, let's take let's take a look at the ult actually. Okay, let's do that. And then let's go run away. And then wait. Okay. Oh, I was gonna test the range. I'll I'll try that. I'll try that next. Okay, that is that is definitely fun. <laughs> Not gonna lie, infinite ammo. I mean, hey, say no more. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might actually need to go in on this banner. <laughs> wait, 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 one more time, and then I'll finish off the video um, by taking a look at the logistics and my overall thoughts. So first, we'll just do this. Oh, well, I guess that's my, my limits here. Oh, hold on, hold on. 
They, they, they can't see me. Let's go all the way here. Right? Oh, I, oh, I can... Oh, there is a drop-off. <laughs> I mean... Okay, I mean, I mean, okay, I'm sold. I'm actually sold. I don't even know if she does good damage, but I'm sold. <laughs> oh, that's actually really fun. Okay, now let's go to the the logistics first. Um, shop. Oops, oops. Oh, yes, yes, the shop. All right. The Ellie squad. Attack 20%. When equipping the operative shots, hits but not crit, gains cyclonic fissure, increases frost damage by 3 seconds, max 20 stacks. Each crit, critical hit removes 1 stack, dodging refreshes the effect the duration. Huh? Wait, I don't know about this one. Each shot that isn't a crit? So you're saying you don't want to crit? Or maybe, or, or does the crossbow, or does the crossbow not crit? Crit damage is zero percent. Um, ballistic damage can crit though. Um, let's take a look at her stats. Mm, I don't know. That's kind of it's kind of weird. Uh, you details. Crit rate zero percent. I mean that is fair. Hmm. So you want her to have zero crit? I mean she is. Entirely focused on ballistic damage though. Uh, let me double check these logistics. So what I'm using on on um, Yao is Amano Iwato squad where 20% ballistic damage, right? And then you gain 50% more ballistic damage after a critical hit. And this stays and effect is only cleared when the operative leaves the field. Okay, one last test. Apologies, this is taking forever now. This is me testing whether or not I can actually crit with uh with Katya. By crit, I'm assuming I mean like hitting a weak spot because hitting a weak spot is a crit, right? All right. So we'll start off with um without skill, right? Wait. Oh, are you saying I can't crit? Where's the weak spots? Wait. Oh, she cannot crit. Oh, she cannot crit. She cannot crit. Hmm. Crossbows have zero percent crit rate and oops sorry and she does and she doesn't work at all with moxie shadow car um yeah see sniper shotgun pistol assault submachine gun Right, there's no additional crit rate. Oh, she doesn't crit. Okay. All right. So, uh, I guess I'm still sold. I but I am low on um uh, I'm low on the on the gems, you know. But we'll see. We'll see. Interesting. So she cannot crit. So at least for at least for her, you cannot crit. Okay, so that does make the logistic set um, essentially a requirement for her at this point because 20% attack and 60% frost damage, right? So, you know, there is that. And you can dodge, which refreshes the 3 seconds. So you can move around for 3 seconds and then go back into your form and then you can shoot again. So, you know, there is that. Which is pretty nice. So, for example, you shoot, you stop, you can move for two seconds, dodge, 
move for two seconds again and then go back into your form. You know, just uh, just something to think about. But she cannot crit anyway, so you'll never remove stacks. Okay, so my final verdict, she is, she's very interesting. The gameplay is definitely fun. Um, she might have issues against um, destroying destructibles until you, you know, increase her manifestation level, at which it will be fine, if not better, right? Better than base form. And so I think overall she's fun. I'm going to have to pull for her because my favorite color is blue. I know that I'm wearing red, but this is more so a persona type thing, like who I based my character on. But in any case, overall, she's very fun. Literally a moving machine gun turret. Very fun. In any case, hopefully this video was helpful. Apologies if it took too long. I do have timestamps on this video. If you have any more questions in regards to Katya, any advice or anything in regards to her, I'm pretty confident in my knowledge on her, even though I've only played, test played her twice and took a look at her kit. I feel like I understand her kit very well. So if you do have any questions, do let me know. It's been your boy Nigel Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.